Alright, hi there. I just wanted to do a short little video on uh, some of the settings for melee weapons. Um, so first thing you've got here, um, this is under... If you look at your advanced player, you can just click on the mace, or if you watched the previous video, you can look at the Sword 06. Um, so you look under rendering, uh, this is where your actual item is going to go. Um, you've got some different settings. Uh, best thing to do is look at the manual and it'll tell you go into more details of what some of this stuff is so you've got your springs which you'll edit if you need to rotation most of the time for melee weapons I really the only thing I ever change is this weapon prefab but another uh, really awesome thing that they exposed here is this damage method now if you're using this with something else, maybe it's called take damage or you've got some custom damage type that you have for your package, this is where you would change the name, which is really awesome. Um, here's your damage amount. So this is how much damage you're going to do. Here's how much force you're going to do. So if there's an object that, to move it. Uh, here's your range. Um, this is really handy if you have a, a longer weapon or a shorter weapon. Um, it's set for two. That's what the mace was at. And then there's a radius. So maybe you've got a really big hammer. So you might change the radius to something more. Um, you also have uh, some input settings. Uh, weapon states are already set up. Um, and then here you've got you can actually customize these presets. Um, they've got them all available for you to make changes to. Um, one thing that you might want to do for different weapons is you might want to change some of these sounds. So they have the swing, but for instance I'm using a sword, so you might want to change this Mace Impact 01 to a different and more of a metallic sword sounding. Um, they also have the, you know, you pick your random state for each one. So that would be, they have all these ones set up which are, are really good. But if you have like a spear or something, you might want to change it. Um, these, eff these effects are fine. You can get into and look at the different uh, prefabs that they have set up. Um, they I know it says pistol, bullet, spark, but it doesn't leave a bullet hole or anything as you saw in the previous video. Um, one thing that you're going to want to change down here on the VP item identifier you're, this, you're going to want this to be uh, the same as whatever item type you set up so um, basically I'm just going to drag on the item type. This is Sword 06, so I've used Sword 06. If you look at the pistol, you'll see it says pistol, and there's the revolver. Um, so those are the uh, those are the basic settings. Um, these are mainly the ones that I use for the for the melee weapon. Uh, the biggest, the two most important ones are setting your weapon prefab and changing your damage amount, method name. Um, if you want to change the sounds, you can change the sounds. It, it would be really cool to have a lot of different sounds here. Alrighty, um, and don't forget to change this when you're done. Thanks a lot.